and uh, it's uh, it hasn't changed that much other than the motor. We changed it out. It had Hilburn on it. We took it off. Got a Glide in it. Uh, 355 engine. But how it started was uh, it sat in the garage for about 30 years. And on the side of the car, Danny Cummins, the driver, that was Bubba's brother. And he was my best friend. He only he always drove the car. Nobody drove it but him. He died uh, in, in 04. And he was sitting in the garage. I called Bubba and asked him, won't you let me restore the car in Danny's memory? He called for me and said, I think that'd be nice. And I rounded up about 60 people who went to high school with Bubba's friends, went to races with us, and they all gave me just whatever, whatever money you want. Sure enough, 60s race car, real popular, a lot of people know about it. it in, when we raced it in the old days, we raced it uh, in Florida, Louisiana, uh, Alabama, and up, up Alabama, up around Andalusia, of course Mobile Dragster, which was Dolphin Island Dragway, and won lots of races with it, lots of trophies. It was, like I said, a Hilburn injection and a four-speed. But when we decided to restore it, we knew a four-speed would be hard for us at our age to mess with it. Right. But we just put a 350, and I said a turbo, I mean a five. We got 350 in with 2,500 stall speed. Still got the same rear in it, same ratio as Dana. Of course, model A straight axle. Motor set back a little bit. And it's, um, Probably, of course, it runs in the sevens and eighth mile. Back in the old days, it ran, the best time it ever ran was 12.92 at 130 miles an hour. That was with the full speed and the, the, the different ratios and whatever. Yeah. Uh, posted of it i think it was 69 at dolphin island but it looked more like just a, a road like a black top road that's what dolphin island looked like that's yeah. probably the picture when it's up in the air yeah yeah and, uh, yeah and that was the worst track you ever wanted to yeah, see yeah yeah but that's this, all we had yeah back then. but this this car still hooked up enough to pull the front wheels off the oh, yeah, off the ground yeah. like it always does anyway yeah, so it, it does people like to watch it because it does a wheel stand. yeah yeah it puts on a good show so uh, Randy does a good job driving it. Uh, Randy Griffiths is the driver. Nobody else drives it. Uh, I drove it one time and I gave it back to him and restored it uh, down on my yard, the trucking yard. We had a hundred people down there that knew the car and I had a microphone set up, chairs and everything. And uh, he'd never had seen it since I restored it and he and his wife came down there. I had it covered up and everything. And, uh, he saw it before he started crying. Oh, yeah. And uh, brought then, back a lot of minutes. And then uh, I, the thing I told him, I said, I only want one thing. I got a lot of uh, people who remember this. I want to make a plan. I'm trying to I'm not sitting I was crying, too. <laughs> he called his wife and said, Sharon, I'm going down the track for Danny. And uh, it was real emotional. Danny was real good friend of mine he could drive this car up. when when you saw that picture doing the wheel stand uh -huh. he was that's him driving okay okay my yeah. name's randy griffiths and i've been driving walking wagon for seven years uh we've done pretty good with the old car we won bell road uh the old car pretty consistent and uh it puts on a good show it's good wheel standard uh the old car runs fairly consistent and uh it's, it's just real easy to drive. So what's your uh, what's your history with these guys and, and the Wampin' Wagon? I've known Bubba for 40 years, and Bubba Cummins owns the car. And he ran the car with his brother Danny, driving it back in the 60s. 
All right, Danny passed, okay, whenever we got the car back out, restored it. I wanted Bubba to drive. Bubba just wasn't comfortable about it. And he got out of the car one day after he made a pass on it. He said, Randy, I want you to drive the car. And I said, well, Bubba, I thought you wanted to drive it. And uh, he said, no, I want you to drive it. And pretty much, I've been driving it ever since. Do a good job at it, too. Well, thank you. I try. <laughs> That's the steering wheel, the only steering wheel this car has ever had. 